We're talking 49ers at the Bears. But before we do, I got to remind everybody, there's a big deal happening right now. We're running out of time. Over at picksandparlays.net, NFL season passes are at an early bird special, 649, or the all football pass is 799, all right? That's every single pick in football off whatever capper you choose for a whole season, 799. Um, So you want to use the promo code NFL. It saves you 20% off whichever you buy. Really, really good deal. You guys want to, uh, maybe you pick up Craig Trapp's all season pass. I don't know, you know, pick your favorite guy and ride with them all season long. Um, Okay, so let's talk Niners and the Bears. Niners are a minus seven at the Bears. I've heard nothing but bad things about the Bears this season. (laughs) Just haven't heard one damn good thing about that team. Maybe you can tell me a couple of them. The total on this one is 41. Uh, What are we thinking here? Started at a six and a half. It did bump up to a seven. And that 42 is now a 41 and a half. So a little movement there. Well, I see some 41s even out there. I mean, these yeah. lines, and, and it's, I, we're taping this on Tuesday, so uh, these lines can change before this weekend, so you got to be careful there. Um, if you like the under, I would get on it now. Um, if you like the Niners, I would get on it now. I'm just saying that because I do think these lines are more likely to move under in this game because I don't think – I think the good Niners defense, the struggling offensive line of the Bears, probably going to uh, – the public's probably going to be on the under. Also, since those teams – I think have a big disparity uh, as far as the Niners and the Bears. I think more people will be on uh, the uh, road underdog 49ers in this one. So, uh, But when you look at this, there's not a whole lot of positive, like you said, about this Bears team. Justin Fields, like I thought coming out of college, if he was put in the right situation, he could succeed. Guess what? This isn't the right situation. You have a terrible offensive line. He's not the most accurate quarterback. He At least he is mobile because he will need to be. This might be the worst – uh, offensive line in football and against a 49ers team that can rush the passer just about as good as anybody that spells a lot of trouble in this game now the reason why I didn't take the side in this game and I'm going to be playing the total is I worry you know this is going to be a huge road favorite as far as like the public is always going to be on this and I just yeah. think those usually don't do well uh, week one two three so I'm thinking you stay away from the side of this one I do think the Niners win I do think they cover but it just it's scary. This is a team that could be dominating, you know, in a low scoring game. So I do like the under as my best play, uh, but they could be dominating as a low scoring game alley. And then you get, you know, you get like one of those, uh, you know, the win in 17 to seven and then, and you know, the bears, a meaningless field goal, meaningless touchdown late and they dominate the whole game and they don't cover. So right. to me, I think you're safer. You take the under here, this 49ers running game and defense going to dominate. Now, I think they have to protect Trey Lance early in this year, and I think they will do so by running the ball. Uh, obviously, Jimmy G re-signing, that was a huge, like, I think a huge get for the 49ers because, yeah. you know, like, you have a veteran on the sideline. Not saying they're going to, like, if they struggle, they're going to go to him. I, I think this is Trey Lance's team from here on out. But injuries happen a lot to NFL quarterbacks. You know, we saw, uh, remember the Bears last year, early in the year, they had uh, Justin Fields got to play because Andy Dalton, uh, went down with the, with the busted little hamstring, and, and that's when he got to make his start in a fourth to fifth game. So to me, I think it's a huge get for the 49ers. You get Garoppolo. I think that gives a lot of confidence to this team. Like, hey, if he's struggling, maybe we could go to him. If we get injured, we can go to him. But let's take the under here. I think that's the safer play. If you are going to play the side, get on it right away and get that, that 49ers at seven. It's not That seven and a half would be a death number um, where yeah. you, you could have got it six and a half a couple weeks ago. Now you're getting it off of that key number. And I'm already showing 91% of the cash is on the Niners. They've only moved it up a half of a point, 81% of the ticket. So that does make me really lean kind of more towards the Bears. But again, I'm not going to play the side in this game. I don't need to get involved. I'm not, I don't really trust Trey Lance. You know, like I'm not sold on him personally. So, well, but at least he gets to play the Bears defense because the Bears defense, not the best defense in the league. And, you know, if you're going to have a road start, this is a perfect spot for it where. You're it's probably not having to score a lot of points. They're probably going to be in the, you know, right there, nip and tuck. So you don't have to, you know, if it's third and long, you can just run a draw play and say, hey, we're going to punt it away and, and, and protect our young quarterback and play with our defense. So I think it's a perfect spot for Trey Lance to start, but I'm with you. That is yeah. a, a worrisome. You see all the money and it's already moved a little bit. Like we said, that half a point from six and a half to seven, but it yeah. takes a lot to move off the key number of seven. So yeah. um, I let's hope. Four betters that are going to bet San Francisco, it holds to seven. Uh, because you get that seven and a half, that makes it, it really tough. 
Yeah, get it now. Buy it down if you can. All right, Craig Trapp, thanks so much for stopping by the Power Hour. We're going to roll with Pitt plus six and the Bears under 41. Those are his two picks uh, for this weekend. Good luck to you, and thanks, Craig. See you next week.